It looks like the DJI Osmo Action 6 is warming up for launch and, honestly, this one is shaping up to be a big deal. If you've been following DJI's action camera journey, you know they've been dropping consistent updates year after year, refining their design, and pushing camera tech forward. From the Action 3 in September 2022 to the Action 4 in August 2023 and the Action 5 Pro in September 2024, the pattern is clear. Late summer or early fall 2025 just makes perfect sense for the Osmo Action 6. And guess what? All the latest leaks are pointing right at September. Before we dive deeper, quick note. If you're into cameras, drones, or just love geeking out over the latest tech, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Think of it like strapping a mount onto this channel. Once it's on, you're locked. In for the ride. Today, we're breaking down everything we know about the DJI Osmo Action 6. Design tweaks, sensor upgrades, 8K video, stabilization, batteries, possible built-in storage, pricing, and even a comparison with the competition. This is a big one, so sit back, relax, and let's get into it. DJI has built a strong rhythm with their action camera releases. Action 3 dropped in 2022, Action 4 followed a year later, and then in 2024, they shook things up with the Action 5 Pro. That yearly cycle has built a certain trust. Fans know when to expect something new. And 2025 seems to be no different. Industry insiders and leak trackers have all been pointing towards September 2025. It's not just speculation. It's based on actual regulatory filings, leaked battery certifications, and even supply chain chatter. DJI loves to hit that. Late summer or early fall window because it places their cameras right before the holiday season rush. That way, they grab attention from content creators, travelers, and adventure enthusiasts just as peak buying season kicks in. So, mark your calendars. Late September is when we'll likely see DJI pull the wraps off the Action 6. Now let's talk about the design. If you've seen the leaked images, you'll notice something familiar. DJI isn't reinventing the wheel here. The Osmo Action 6 looks a lot like the Action 5 Pro. We're talking about that same rugged rectangular body, dual front and back screens, and overall a very functional form factor. But look closer, and you'll spot some subtle changes. The front camera housing looks a bit larger, which is fueling speculation about that rumored one-inch sensor. Under the front screen, there's a new pill-shaped cutout. Nobody knows for sure what it's for, but leaks suggest it could be a mic array for better audio, a status indicator, or even a gesture sensor for touch-free control. The lens appears slightly wider, the body just a little bigger. But overall, DJI seems to be sticking to its tried-and-true design language, and that's not a bad thing. Because here's the good news. Your old mounts and accessories should still work. No need to rebuy everything. Waterproofing also looks to remain strong. Somewhere in the 10 to 20 meter range without needing. Additional housing. Add to that the bright dual OLED screens, and you've got a camera that looks familiar but feels upgraded. Now, here's where things start to get really exciting. The Action 5 Pro maxed out at a 1.3 inch sensor, capable of 4K at 120 frames per second. Impressive? Sure. But the Osmo Action 6, if leaks are right, is stepping into new territory. We're talking about a full one inch sensor. That's the kind of leap that doesn't just sound good on paper. It fundamentally changes image quality. A bigger sensor means better low-light performance, richer detail, and improved dynamic range. And speaking of dynamic range, rumors suggest we're looking at over 13.5 stops compared to around 12.8 in the previous generation. That means more detail in both shadows and highlights, perfect for capturing those sunrise mountain hikes or late night city runs. Video-wise, this is where DJI might just shake up the industry. The Action 6 could record 8K at 30 frames per second. Yes, 8K, that's a massive jump from the Action 5 Pro's 4K at 120 FPS. And while not everyone needs 8K, it offers incredible flexibility for content creators. You can crop, reframe, or downsample to 4K for sharper results. Slow motion is still expected to stick around with buttery smooth 4K at 120 FPS. Combined with that bigger sensor, DJI is positioning the Action 6 as not just an action cam, but a serious filmmaking tool in a tiny body. Of course, an action camera lives and dies by 
It's stabilization, and here DJI seems to be leveling up again. The Action 6 is rumored to debut Rocksteady 4.0, an upgrade from the already excellent Rocksteady 3.0. What does that mean? Smoother footage when you're running, biking, skiing, or strapping the camera onto a drone. Rocksteady 4.0 is expected to handle motion blur and vibrations even better, with improved horizon leveling. That means no matter how much the camera tilts, your footage stays perfectly aligned. For creators, this is huge. You don't have to rely as much on gimbals or heavy post-processing. Just shoot, and you're good to go. Battery life has always been a talking point with action cameras. And here's the interesting part. Filings show two new battery sizes for the Osmo Action 6, 17 send them the and 1950 many dollars. This suggests DJI might release two versions, a standard and a pro model. The pro version with the larger battery could be aimed at power users who need longer recording times. Think vloggers, bikers, and extreme sports fans who can't afford frequent swaps. But the real eyebrow razor? Built-in storage. Yes, leaks are suggesting around 47 gigabytes of onboard memory. That might not sound huge, but for an action cam, it's a game changer. It means you can start recording immediately, even if you forget your SD card. And with 8K files being massive, this built-in buffer makes a lot of sense. On the connectivity front, the Action 6 is expected to keep Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1. That means fast wireless transfers to your phone or tablet and reliable connections for accessories. DJI might also optimize file read and write speeds, something crucial for 8K workflows. With faster internal memory, copying large clips to your editing setup should be smoother. There's even speculation about improved app integration. DJI has been refining its software, making it easier to edit, share, and even live stream directly from the camera. If the Action 6 builds on that foundation, it could become not just a capture tool, but a true content creation hub. Now let's talk about pricing. Leaks suggest the standard kit, including the camera, one battery, and basic mounts, could land between 329 and 429. That's right in line with the competition, and very close to where the Action 5 Pro launched. For those who want more, DJI is likely preparing an adventure kit. This could include extra batteries, a waterproof housing, and additional mounts. Pricing for that bundle is expected to range between $479 and $579. It's a smart strategy. The base kit appeals to casual users, while the adventure kit caters to pros and enthusiasts who need the full setup. Of course, we can't talk about the Osmo Action 6 without mentioning GoPro. The GoPro Hero 13 Black is already out, and packing serious features like 5.3K video, hyper-smooth stabilization, and new modular lens options. But here's the catch. If DJI really delivers 8K with a 1-inch sensor, they'll have the edge in raw image quality. GoPro will still be the king of ecosystem and accessories, but DJI's camera could become the choice for creators who want cinematic level quality in an action cam body. There's also competition from Insta360 with their modular designs. But, again, DJI seems to be banking on stability, reliability, and image performance, so what can we realistically expect? The DJI Osmo Action 6 isn't going to reinvent action cameras, but it looks set to raise the bar in some critical areas. A bigger sensor, 8K video, Rocksteady 4.0, larger batteries, and maybe even built-in storage. Design-wise, it'll feel familiar, and accessory compatibility is a big win. Pricing is competitive, and the rumored launch in late September 2025 fits perfectly with DJI's track record. For creators, travelers, and athletes, this camera could be a serious upgrade. And for the industry, it could push competitors to step up their game once again. So what do you think? Are you excited about the DJI Osmo Action 6? Do you see yourself upgrading from the 5 Pro or maybe switching from a GoPro? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to subscribe for more updates on cameras, drones, and all things tech. Until next time, stay creative, stay adventurous, and I'll catch you in the next one.